So tell me why to not buy this stock. I thought that this would be a pretty interesting topic uh, to kind of, I would say more of a theme to talk about uh, on specific companies that recently reported earnings that sell off and that we in the comments section share maybe why it's not the best investment. And the reason why is that uh, this isn't like a BS company. It's not a lower cap stock. It's Nike. Nike drops more than 10% today, 11.59%. Uh, including aftermarket hours due to its quarterly earning report. So you guys can see this reaction that we're seeing a lot of selling pressure. You might be asking the question, well, why Ricky, right? <clears throat> it reported better than expected earnings per share for the previous quarter. It reported better than expected revenue for the previous quarter. I've said this once and I'll say it again. It's not so much even about its previous quarter, but also its guidance for up and coming quarters that is often viewed to be most important. So why did it sell off? Nike said that it plans to cut $2 billion in cost over the next three years. Nike Giant also says that it's going to cut its revenue outlook. This is the second company to do so for this up and coming year. FedEx was the first company, now it's Nike. Are they telling us something? Something that we don't know, something that the market's not factoring in, something that can actually create some selling pressure later down the road for overall markets. And again, uh, Nike fell short of Wall Street sales estimates for the second quarter in a row. So that's essentially why Nike stock ended up selling off. I wanted you guys just to be aware, right? I think as long as you're informed, Nike is obviously a company that a lot of people respect. It's not you know, a company that I feel like is going to catch people by surprise of maybe why you might want to buy into the dip. But the idea is I thought we can create a theme where we share why, in our opinions, Nike is either a good stock to buy, the dip on, or maybe to avoid if maybe this news is too new, it's too relevant, things can get worse before they get better. Share them down in the comment section. But I feel like talking about oversold companies that just recently report earnings can be something that might be quite unique especially if we keep it focused on good quality companies over a long period of time that just might have overreacted. So again, right now it's trading at lows of 108, which means that we've pulled on back quite a bit. Um, we can see right on over here, it closed at 122, but that means at 108, we're going to be trading um, halfway down to its previous support that it's had right around 90 to $80 a share. So again, the question that I would begin to be asking is, is this an overreaction or is this just the beginning of some selling pressure that can later bring us down to 97 or $80 a share where we can really load up if it ends up finding its support level? We talk about three stages of reversal when it comes down to buying the dip within the LPP lesson library. If you want to check that out, that's the second link in the description down below. But I just wanted to make sure that we talked about a good quality company that is oversold that might have overreacted due to poor guidance, but good earnings. And again, that is ticker symbol NKE. So you guys let me know down in the comment section what you think about Nike stock yourself. Would it be something that you would buy right now? You would add to your watch list because you like that it dropped 11% because you know you see it to be a good deal, but maybe you need to wait for confirmation or completely avoid Nike stock that it's not a good stock to even buy now or later down the road. Let me know down below. I would love to make more videos like this. All I ask you to do is drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And I'll make sure that I um, you know, keep you guys up to date with the overall market. If you guys have any questions, please shoot me a direct message via Discord. And don't forget, I trade live every single morning. If you want to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, click that second link in the description down below. And I'll see you tomorrow at Market Open for our live trading session. We'll see you then.